Hello and welcome fellow gamers, my name is Borek and this is another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival Experimental Branch Alpha 12. We are back to this awesome game. In the previous episode I've managed I've managed to take over, take control of this ship. Well maybe not take control, but even fly it by slightest but still. Now I am I've moved a bit, uh, also damaging my reactors or generators uh, due to the fact that I've modified the ship already. I've moved it a bit closer to towards Polaris uh, trading station, and apparently it is being patrolled by two space drones. One is stuck, probably crashed on the trading station, and the other one is just going around me in circles. I don't know if it's circling me or what, but still, it is circling something. There's also a mining station, you can see it just above the antenna of my ship. Yeah, it's over there. I'm feeling very hungry. That makes me very, very uns unhappy and unsatisfied. There's mining station over there. So two nice Polaris station and there's Xyrax repair station. All right, so here we are in space. I am running low on food and actually I think I have only one a portion of emergency rations left, so I'm gonna pop that in my body. Actually, I've not shown you that, but you you have seen you've seen that I was like below 50, and now I'm 300. So most probably food rations have been uh, nerfed a bit, and apparently they don't give you 500 food anymore, which is good in my opinion. All right. So what you can see over here is CPU extended tier two because well I've added few of the thrusters um, to this bad boy, and unfortunately CPU usage right now is over 200, so it's a bit too much for the core that we have installed over here. Uh, right. So what I have done? I have sealed the place over here with similar shutter doors that I had on the other side. I've put one small generator because in my opinion they are supposed to be like over there uh, since they emit shitloads of heat and in my opinion uh, over here there were some large generators. Uh, I was thinking maybe they should be like over there because I could see some circular, circular shape but then I saw those fuel tanks over here and I think that is uh, the way nice way to fit it in here. Now we have we don't have breathable atmosphere or do we? Actually we do so I can take off the helmet to save on oxygen. Right, so I have a large generator over here and that I need to upgrade. Unfortunately, I will require 50 cobalt. Five steel computers and energy matrix are not a problem. Flux coils as well, but 50 uh, cobalt alloy, yeah, I don't have any cobalt whatsoever left and I have like maybe five cobalt alloys. Uh, so that kind of a suck. Going forward towards the uh, front of the ship, uh, you can see information about warp drive and gravity generators. So apparently the warp drive was blown to pieces, no oxygen. Oh shit, there is no oxygen over here. Right, uh, so apparently warp drive have, has been blown into pieces and it is gonna be sitting like over here. Yeah, that looks like a warp drive to me or a space for a warp drive. So that's gonna be a nice addition. Um, as it goes for the gravity generator, I think it was supposed to be situated over here, but right now I can see the sun of our solar system and this is a nice way to enjoy the view of uh, our home planet. Right, I've repaired the nose a bit and added some of the rustiness of the blocks. Uh, so I would like to keep... Uh, I would like to keep uh, some of the rustiness that it bring brought and I'm not going to be repairing all those blocks now. Let's go over here because uh, I don't want to uh, get too cold. I don't know why. <sighs> why there's so much fluctuation? Oh, I'm suffering from the hypothermia. I don't understand uh, fully why now sitting at 90 Celsius degree uh, environment my temperature is not rising. Well, it's rising really, really, really so slowly. But if I go into 22, it just jumps rapidly like to bam 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 and off we go into 25 which is great which is how it is supposed to be but if you sit in the hot environment like now i'm hugging the generator 
it's not rising to 50 Celsius degree temperature of my body all of a sudden. I don't know why, I don't understand it. Nevertheless, I've added a few of the thrusters over here and there to increase maneuver maneuverability and uh, and of course not to mention turning, but yeah, that eats a lot of the CPU and since I have uh, activated CPU usage, well that is really cool. I'm willing to improvise on that and I'm not going to be putting too much of a thrusters of thrusters just you know to have a fun time uh, with that CPU volume and mass not so much but that one why not I'm uh, I'm willing to put my CPU extender because I was able to make tier 2 uh, I'm gonna be putting it over here but uh, maybe not like that is it still private yes it is so I can retrieve the block because it takes three minutes on fast production to produce it. Ah, that's much better. So now we should have enough CPU usage uh, for our ship to easily traverse around the universe. Right, 500 meters away from my ship is a trading station, not to mention those stupid space jones. Uh, but it is really, really cold out there. I'm gonna take it out. Whoa! Was it that fast or I've missed by a mile? It is activating afterburners. Well, not for long, I guess. Let's see what it had. I don't like Cyrax, especially when they are so cold, cold, so close to me. So I am willing to destroy them on every occasion that I have. Yeah, see that one is stuck. Just hope that I won't blow up at the base itself. Ooh, power coil. Where's my... I don't know, I need, just need to go inside. I just need to go inside because I'm experiencing hypothermia. Oh, it's gonna be much better over here. Just to get some temperature because staying out there in cold is not something that I do enjoy. Especially when your um, food meter is dropping. I could drop all my cargo down here. There's a repair station, I don't think. No. I shouldn't be messing around with those guys. Now, the question is zip tie, yes, but oh, unfortunately, my biggest ship is out of range. Right, so I think there's gonna be a gravity generator over here. So we could use that and get inside the station itself and do station itself and do some hustling trading with those guys where is it where's the entrance ah oh, finally some people well talking about people small words dispatch no oh christmas tree is it christmas time already stamina recovery atm i could put all the money that I have. Kaching, baby! We are doing the kaching. Right, so there's a medical equipment. I could use first aid kit. That's nice. I wish there were some free meals over here, but most probably there's not gonna be any. But since I did two missions, I could get some food in my body. Waffles, no, ratatouille. I think pizza was cheapest and the most effective way of increasing your your um, hunger or decreasing your hunger. Right, see, there you go. Right, what else do we have? Veg burger. No, I'm not gonna be doing that. Now, let's try and find somebody who is willing to do food trader, like more advanced trading, not only food, 
and I don't think there's gonna be advanced. If I could get 50 alloy, cobalt alloy, for the money that I have, then I could make myself all the things that I need. That's mining. Do you have any cobalt on you? Insulation. Oh, oh, I don't have any money. Right. Cobalt ingot. 50. <laughs> How much would I need? I think I need 3, so if I go with 10... 30, actually. 25... 28... He doesn't have that many. And that doesn't save my ass. There's a teleporter over here. Ooh! Ilian, Orius, okay. Server station. Server station? Is it the station where we've started at? Don't tell me that I'm going to be back on the surface of the planet. Since I have not activated other teleporter ports. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Right. Um. Freaking hell. I'm back. <laughs> I am back. There's a research center. And I have nothing. There's a nest, alien tower. I have nothing and the other Polaris is like over there. Gazil gazillion miles away. Okay, I think I have left Hover vessel over there. Did I brought my bike with me? Yes, fortunately, I took, a, took the bike. So that, it's not that bad. Now I need to find myself. Yeah, fortunately, there's that. Good. I wonder if I will have any. Yes, I do. So I think I will just go to the other research center. To the other research place where with more buildings, Polaris buildings, because based on that, there's much higher probability that one of them will have uh, will have what do you call it teleporter, so I can go back actually to the orbit where I've left all my stuff. God damn it! Right, fortunately, I brought I brought some guns with me. Righty, so I guess I'll see you guys somewhere over the civil hub. Stay tuned, be right back. God damn it. I wonder if you ever had a possibility to check out Polaris Firebase. Because I've never been to such a huge base. Honestly, it is astonishing. It really is, look at that. It has guns all over the place. You know what? Screw that teleporter. Let's just go inside and let's see if we can take it over. I wonder if I have a uh, core with me. Yes, I can. <laughs> so actually, I could actually take it over. Uh, Polaris, of course, w will help me for that. But uh, yeah, why not? What do you think? Should we take it over? There is a constructor over here, even advanced. Oh. And there is a repair station. So I could make all the... What? Talon? Oh. They are doing some strange voodoo magic over here. I can tell you that. But if I would take apart all those constructors... If I could 
take this space as mine like destroy the core find the core destroy the, the, the core replace the core think about all the stuff that I could make I need to make myself a detector and that requires 24 cobalt alloy and I know that advanced constructor does need 50 cobalt alloy so I wouldn't have to ever go and mine that cobalt again not to mention 100 hardened steel plates I think I can make myself a warp drive flux coils and yeah it wouldn't be so bad that idea of taking over this base it's not that bad of course I will have to deal with all those guys well they are level one if only I could find the core I don't think I will have any access to the upper floors though okay there are stairs over here right next to those constructors Securing market for you. What's that? Cargo boxes, okay. That most probably is going to be a landing site for small vehicles. Okay. There's a small generator over here, that's nice. There's another one, and another one. And there is... They will hate me for that, don't they? I'm so tempted to do that right now. On-site reports slipping tight. No more incidents yet. Need ASAP another batch of charges and make those bigger. The site can handle it. Other collection teams prepare the report, but they will leave the data section blank. The Zyrax still keep their distance. We can do this. We can do it. What? 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 Uh, that's a trader. Okay, he's selling guns. M mobility boosts. I have a heavy. Ar okay, I have found a heavy armor that I'm wearing right now that I could sell for fifty-nine thousand, and then I could buy myself something and then take over the base. Although that heavy armor would help me most definitely. Okay, what whom do we have over in here? Let me just check. There's a trader, yeah. With food canned meat. I'm running low on food actually. That kind of sucks. So much stuff. So many guns. No, I can't do that. I can't take over this base. Or can I? Leave the comment in the comment section down below. What should I do? Do I risk it for a biscuit and have a really nice base with fruits? And then kill all the guys inside? But that's just one base. That just single base, they. I don't think as uh, Pol Polaris win, will mind that. What do you reckon? Uh, now the question is are there any defense towers nearby? There's a settlement. Like guns, defenses, small wreckage. Nah. 
Oh man, those guns. And then I could just land over here with my big capital vessel. And almost merge with this base. This base is huge. Okay, there's a teleporter. <sighs> How do I activate those? If I could... Oh, no, I don't have... Can I make myself a teleporter? That makes me wonder. Make a base. Land claim device. Are there any teleporter devices that I could build? Ooh, there's one. I wonder if I could put it on my... I don't think so. On my capital vessel. I think they are only reserved for bases. No. Yeah. Well, actually, it is in a capital vessel, but it doesn't have... But then... Oh, it just says where you can make it. Okay. So if it is level 15, I should be able to do that and have a teleporter on my capital vessel. Are the guns over there? I have all the guns I need. There's a detector. Right, you guys tell me what to do. Do I leave those Polaris guys alone? Or do you want me to pick up a fight and kill them all and take over the base? I have a core. I don't have explosive devices. But I think I could buy one. <laughs> From one of those traders. I think I saw it somewhere. And maybe I will have enough money. All I need to do actually is take over the base. I don't have to kill those cyborg guys. So what do you reckon? Please let me know in the comment section and below. Of course the charge is much much easier way to destroy the base. As I could just pull inside no pull inside the charge like between uh, between the ventilation things multi-tool don't I have multi-tool? no I don't right so yeah that's gonna be it for today's episode guys and girls that is a big mystery to me what should i do please let me know in the comment section down below if i should take down this core if it's even possible i'm willing to find out so yeah explosive device Ooh, i don't have enough but i can sell some stuff just one i just need one so yeah, that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment about the gameplay, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like what you see. And I hope that we will see each other in the next episode, when we will continue to try to destroy this base. I could just sit like over there, in that elevator shaft, and squeeze below that a charge to destroy. But that's going to be admin block, isn't it? Right. See you next time, guys and girls. Bye-bye.